Hello all. Now we will be explaining the complicated data structure VB3 and tree. We hope we'll keep it simple. Going on with the timeline. So this is our uh, this is the timeline for our entire group that we have done. Starting off with the Van Eemde Bostu or VB3. So VB3 is a specialized data structure which optimizes operations like uh, insertion, deletion, successor, and predecessor. It's basically a recursive data structure where you have an array which is also known as a universe, and you have nodes which are tree nodes, and each node has a summary of uh, the sub sub universe or sub uh, array. So and the tree and the root uh, of the tree is ba basically contains a summary information of the sub uh, uh, sub arrays and the sub universes. So basically, VB trees are uh, most efficient when there are large number of key keys, and uh, it's most efficient where you have to find the successor and the predecessor. So moving on, this is the basic uh, structure of the VB tree, and we'll be going through few keywords in the upcoming slides. And talking about the application. So the application, the first one is data fetching, the routing, and the package management. So basically, uh, let's take an example. So if you want an IP address, and uh, you have a range, so the IP address is between two uh, two ranges, and you want to send a particular packet in that particular range. So finding that particular finding that range would uh, VB VB tree would be useful in that place. These are few formulas that would be we that we use in the upcoming slides. So the in so we have a total of four attempts where each attempt is an optimization of the previous one, and the first attempt is by using a bit vector. So for insertion, you just directly insert it into the in the VB tree and replace that with one. Whereas in successor, you iterate to each and uh, till you find a successor. So the time complexity for this is O of one, and uh, for the successor O of u. For the second, uh, for the second attempt, we have a start using a summary vector. If I already told you that summary vectors basically has this information of these uh, sub universes, and uh, so it's also known as a cluster. So when it comes to insertion, you're first going to insert in that particular cluster, and then you're going to insert into the summary. So a, a number uh, is represented in the binary form, and the first half i of the bits of the number is the high of x, whereas uh, the second, the lower half is the low of x. Where high of x tells you the cluster number. The success in when when it comes to successor, you're going to first uh, go uh, let's say the number x. So you're going to go through each num each number in that x cluster x and you're going to find the successor. If it's not point plus uh, success not there, you go to the summary and you find the next uh, uh, next value which is which is uh, present in that uh, uh, tree and you uh, press uh, you return the index of the uh, successor. So the time complexity for the successor goes as O of two Q, whereas for insertions remains as O of one. Which is a bit of an uh, improvement. Coming to the third attempt, which is by using a recursion. So recursion optimizes the algorithm, and for insertion, you're going to uh, first you're going to recursively insert in that particular cluster, and then you're going to update that into the summary uh, recursively. So this has a time complexity of O of log u. Well, coming to the successor, you're going to first uh, find the successor within the cluster again uh, recursively. And if it's not found, you're going to go to the uh, summary vector and go to um, recursively iterate to the summary vector till you get uh, uh, the successor and return the and returning the index. And this has a time complexity of log u per 1.585. Now the the most optimized one. So this is done by use uh, storing the minimum and the maximum value for each cluster. And for the summary as well. So when it comes to the insertion, you first check if the tree is empty. And it, if it is empty, then you store the min and max as the number you're going to insert. If it's lesser than the minimum, you're going to swap them. And the reason for swapping is because of the lazy propagation, where you don't store the min recursively. And this is just an optimization optimization technique. Whereas if it's greater than the maximum, you're just going to store the maximum value as the number. The time complexity for this is O of log of log u. So when it comes to the successor part, you're first going to uh, check if the number is lesser than the uh, maximum value in that particular cluster, and if it is, then you're going to uh, you're going to recursively search through the cluster and go to return the index of the successor. Else, you just have to go to the summary vector again and repeat the same process until you find the successor of the number notified. So again, the time complexity remains as O log L two. When it comes to the deletion part, uh, it's the opposite of the uh, insertion part, where you again you have two recursive calls to delete the particular number. 
so um, and moving on uh, so the usage of unordered maps instead of vectors so basically unordered maps they utilize uh, hash maps wherein uh, you store only the non empty clusters and remove the empty ones so this reduces the space complexity from o of u log log u to o of n log log u and which is a uh, best and this is what vb trees so next we'll see about the tree data structure a uh, tree is a hybrid data structure of heap and a binary tree as the name suggests tree plus heap a tree is like a mix between a sorted list and a stack of items when you add items they go in order based on their numbers but their priorities are random helping to keep the structure balanced the setup is handy when you want the list to be both sorted and quickly find the most important item useful for tasks like managing queues or finding the most significant element in a set each like when we see about the basic data structure like uh, each item has a number and a priority number corresponds to the binary search tree property and priority value is used to check for the heap property so trees can find a diverse applications like they are secure uh, and in databases like as they have fast search insertion and deletion they are useful in that and uh, in quicker scheduling like when you take an example of gaming industry they are like they are effective in managing the game queues and matchmaking organizing players based on levels or ratings ensuring fair and swift matchmaking so next we'll see about the insertion in the tree uh, the insertion function uh, is designed to incorporate user provided key and data values into a tree structure this process adheres to two fundamental properties maintaining the binary search tree initially followed by the necessary rotation to ensure the preservation of heap property and the time complexity of this operation is big of log n so for example here we insert uh, 80 with random priority 12 so first it is inserted in uh, according to the binary search tree property and uh, necessary rotations are performed so that it uh, passes through the case of heap heap property and uh, left or right rotations uh, these are pivotal for maintaining the balance within the tree data structure to take care of the heap property these operations pivot a specified node either to the left or right respectively taking the address of the node as input and this uh, operation has a time complexity of big of 1 so next we will see about the deletion uh, where we initiate a recursive search to the tree using provided key value this uh, search locates the corresponding node in the tree like other othering to the binary search tree property subsequently we perform rotations on the subtree to ensure the maintenance of the heap property ultimately through a series of value swaps we transform the identified node into a leaf node thus removing it from the tree and the time complexity of this operation is big of log n so next we look about the search uh, sorry we'll just see an example of deletion so here we delete 50 so first the priority is removed and uh, then rotations are performed uh, and uh, they are brought into a leaf node and finally they are deleted from the tree yeah next we look about the search uh, like the search function serves the purpose of locating data associated with a provided key within the tree Uh, it operates in accordance with the binary search tree property systematically traversing through the tree and to identify the specified key and this operation has a time complexity of big of log n so next you know we'll look about the in order traversal we use the common recursive calls of the in order traversal to display the all the nodes of the tree uh, and the time complexity is big of n here and level order of traverse level order traversal uh, where it visits each level of the tree from top to bottom left to right exploring the nodes at each level before moving to the next it utilizes a queue structure to efficiently process the level enqueuing the child nodes as they are as they are encountered and dequeuing the parent node once uh, the child have been visited this traversal strategy ensures that the nodes are processed in the order of uh, breadth and facilitating the uh, operations like breadth first search and this complex uh, this uh, operation has time complexity big of n and uh, this entire structure is based on the space complexity big of n next up let's acknowledge our sources with proper citations so finally time to give a round of applause of, 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 uh, to our code wranglers bug busters brain architects and master puppeteers of our coding symphony signing off for now thank you for your valuable time bye